So this is gonna go supersonic. We're at 24 MOA here. I mean, these things are slinging over 1100 feet per second. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Last one. Oh, missed it. Oh, I hit him out of ammo. God dang it. <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about the shenanigans that we've got going on here. These are the Javelin slugs from uh, Patriot Outdoors. These are the 23 grains. Um, and I had a chance to talk to Rolf from uh, Patriot Outdoors. So in that conversation, I had a chance to talk to him and ask him some questions to why their specific designs are able to push so deep into that transonic zone Part of that conversation, we actually started to talk a lot about uh, subsonic uh, aerodynamics, and, and it was kind of cool because I don't know if you knew this or not, but FX Airguns is actually sponsoring a Indy car in the Indy Light series, which the the, uh, the driver of this car is just tearing up the field. I mean, the guy is I think either like first or second in the points race. And in the uh, IndyCar platform, uh, aerodynamics is a huge consideration in order to get these cars to perform to their highest capability. But anyway, so as part of that conversation, we started talking about uh, subsonic aerodynamics, which then Rolf started telling me about the uh, different secret sauce elements that they are baking into these slugs. And I can't share that with you. Um, but I will tell you, I have been completely wrong on a lot of things that I held to be true when it came to slug profiles. Um, a lot of the stuff that I have been doing in the big bore side, I will tell you, uh, he has shown me things that has made me see the light. That's all I can tell you. So yeah, up to this point, shooting slugs for air guns and specifically big bore air guns, it's basically the, the approach is like, hey, here's an existing design that's either cast or even swaged and like here's the dyes that they have and here's the the molds that they have and here just go buy it pay for it and try it if it and see if it works and I'll tell you what guys more times than not a lot of times just the slug design which is primarily has been developed for the firearm sector uh just does not work for air guns but yeah there's a lot of science going on behind what they do with this manufacturing process before a single bit of lead is put into a slug so yeah there's there's a lot going on here all right airheads if you want to go do something fun if you've got an fx impact m3 with the superior heavy liner so definitely go out and grab some of these javelin slugs these 23 grainers are shooting extremely flat extremely fast this should not be working but for whatever reason it is and a huge shout out to my brother joe over at cyclops videos because during post-production while i was editing this video I noticed something that I've never been able to capture before uh, when I'm shooting air gun slugs or pellets, and that's bullet trace, uh, which is pretty awesome. If some people call them vapor trails. It's technically bullet trace. It's just basically where the, um, the air is being disturbed behind the bullet, and you can actually see it. So in one of uh, Joe's videos on Cyclops video channel, he actually showed how to properly set up your camera to capture this bullet trace. So thanks, Joe, for uh, sharing that little tip because uh, this footage, it's pretty freaking awesome. All right, so there it is. Uh, one point of clarification. In no way, shape, or form am I saying that shooting supersonic with air gun projectiles is what you should be doing. But what I am saying is the shape of your projectile and the design of these slugs matters a ton when it comes to when you're pushing into this transonic and even supersonic zone and coming back into that transonic zone, the shape, the stability, and the be able to perform within this zone of velocities. So what this is truly showing is that your slug design and the shapes of these slugs and the advancement of these barrel profiles. I mean, the FX approach to how they're building barrels now 
and working with companies like Patriot to be able to come up with these combinations where we can push super far into that transonic zone and just push these slugs faster and with more foot pounds of energy, guys, we are getting super close to firearm performance with this stuff. I mean, this is a 22 and we are really, really close to getting that right up to that point of 22 LR match grade ammunition. So hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely subscribe, check out more of my videos coming up. Thanks for joining me.